This month holds something special for all of us who share a passion for fungi in Australia. Some. We're inviting you to join in. Get out there and document the fungi that you can find in your corner of the country. You'll be joining thousands in the great Aussie fungi hunt. Susie, I want to know what the Great Aussie Fungi Hunt is. Well, the Great Aussie Fungi Hunt is Australia's national bioblitz dedicated to fungi and capturing and mapping them across Australia. Australia is home to about 250,000 species of fungi, they think. And we've only named and described about 12,000 to date. We're just scratching the surface of an entire kingdom and yet some of the most beautiful and fascinating fungi in the world are right here in Australia waiting to be discovered. And it's not just about the classic mushrooms. We're talking about the weird and the wonderful. Stinkhorns, fan fungi, bird's nests, shelf fungi, flesh-eating fungi, truffles, lichens, any member of the fungal kingdom. Oh, and the slime mold enthusiasts, yes, they're part of the hunt too. So no matter where our fungi hunters are, in a forest, at the beach, in a city park, in your backyard, even in the desert, there are fungi out there everywhere just waiting for us to find them. OK, Finley, Marnie, let's go fungi hunting. OK. I found something. Yeah. Okay, so we need to photograph it. Now we'll need four photographs. One from the top, one from the side, one from underneath, and one of the environment. Let's take the photograph from the top first. Now get it in a little bit closer. Reasonably close, but not too close, because we want to make sure we can focus it. Now put your finger on the screen where the mushroom is and that will focus it. Now hold it really steady Now take the picture. That's a good one. What we're looking for on a fungi hunt is the reproductive or the sporing bodies of a fungus. When we photograph a fungus we're revealing key features that help us identify them. Look closely at the top you might find fine hairs, nodules, rings of colour and texture. Sometimes it's perfectly smooth. Other times it could be sticky or shiny, just like it's been polished. Now we want to take one from the side. OK, now take it from down here so you can see the side of the mushroom. OK, again, put your finger on it to get it in focus. Yep. The side angle reveals whether the stem or stipe is ridged, hairy or smooth. Notice how it's anchored. Does it grow from the soil or emerge from a piece of wood? This perspective gives us a complete picture of how the mushroom is rooted in its environment. And one from underneath. And make sure it's focused. Yep. Yeah, that's not too bad, is it? When we photograph a fungus from underneath, we unlock a whole new set of clues. This angle reveals whether it has gills, pores, teeth, are they tightly packed or spread out. You'll also see how the cap connects to the stipe and it can even be a different colour. Now we'll take one of the environment. And now a wide shot, yeah, tilt up around like that. That looks good, shows all the trees and the mushroom. Now to upload your observation, create or log into your own iNaturalist account. Select the observe icon. You can upload directly from your phone or from your computer. Select your photo of the cat first, then the side view, then underneath, and lastly the location. The next step is to click on what did you see to try and identify your fungus. If it's not obvious, then use the general category fungi and lichens. iNaturalist also has a very competent AI feature, which can sometimes match your photo to known species. 
Fungi Maps Field Guide, Fungi Down Under, is also an excellent resource for a fungi hunt. And sure enough, Finley has found our fungus. Microporus and Foppus. Then, make sure the date is entered and the location. And you can make the location private if it's your home. To help our scientists identify your fungus, let's add some more details in the notes field. Like, how big is it? We're using the ruler on the back of our fungi down under field guide. It's around 46 millimetres. Now, we're going to make some notes about its colour. It's sort of browns, isn't it? We're using the fungi down under's colour charts. What's the darkest one, do you think? Brown, yellow one. And then varying out to these cream ones here? Maybe like 36. And then back to one. And maybe even lighter for around the outside ring. Yeah, the outside ring maybe like 129. Next we'll make some notes about its surface. Is it fuzzy, slimy, dry, smooth, spiny, hairy, scaly or waxy? It's smooth and rubbery. And what is its substrate? Dead old piece of wood. Finally, we're going to describe what it smells like. It smells sweet and like berries. This downloadable guide has lots of tips on how you can photograph and describe your fungus. It's available on the Fungi Map website. As you can see, the Great Aussie Fungi Hunt is very simple to do and will make a huge difference to our knowledge of fungus throughout Australia. So grab your camera, head outside and become part of this nationwide effort to document Australia's fungal treasures.